it's got to be like 30 degrees, but it's bright and sunny. And I got to test these two visors and all oh. types of lighting conditions for you all today. So we're going to take a look at that. Welcome back to On The Football. Today's video is on a review of the new Oakley Prism football visors. Now I unboxed these football visors a couple weeks ago. I also made a video on why and why not to wear a football visor and I made a third video on how to attach a football visor to your helmet. If you have any questions on those or you haven't seen those videos, definitely check out my playlist and my YouTube channel for the rest of those videos. Now what I'm going to go over in this video is just a quick overview of what comes in the Oakley Prism visor and then the review of the visors themselves. If you saw my Instagram or an unboxing of the Oakley Prism visors, you know that they come in two different colors. This is the clear Prism visor. You can see there's still a little bit of tint. It kind of has a purplish look and that is for the Prism effect. The other visor is just known as the Oakley Grid Iron visor. Now this one is going to be a darker tint, about 20% and you can see the difference versus the clear in this video. Just like Oakley's traditional visors, which are still for sale, it's going to come with a number of different clips, two different sizes, depending on what face mask and helmet you have. It's also going to come with a number of decals, so you can coordinate it with your team and your uniform. And lastly, it comes with a microfiber cleaning cloth that you can use on your visor to clean it without worrying about scratching it. These are the first Oakley visors to use Prism technology. I won't get into the details of Prism technology, but basically what it does is it makes everything super vivid so that the colors pop more. Now this can be a good thing if you're playing football because some of the colors are gonna pop more to separate them from the background. So as opposed to everything kind of being blurred together, you'll get different pops of color. As you guys can see in this video, I tested out both visors in night and day. I wanted everyone watching this video to be able to see firsthand what it looks like peering out of the visor from inside the helmet as well as what everyone around you will see when you're wearing the visor. First, let's take a look at what the visors look like during the daytime. Now here you can see what the normal day looks like. It's a little bit cloudy. It is 30 degrees in Chicago. Now remember this visor is gonna have a little bit of a tint to it, so it is going to block out some of the sun and the colors are supposed to pop. You can see here just how different it looks. I'll try to put these side by side for you so you can see how it looks in comparison to the normal daylight. Now when we compare the tinted visor during the daylight, you can see that it's not too different from the clear visor. You still get lots of light coming through. It does look a little bit darker on the outside of the helmet. So if you're a fan of having some of that tint, whether it be for intimidation or you just like the way it looks, you can see that you can definitely use this visor during the day, even on a cloudy day. I also took the helmet out at night and I wanted to compare it to how clear is it to look out at night. So even though there's a little bit of tint with the clear visor, you can see that it's crystal clear at night. I did notice that there is a little more clarity than I find in the normal clear visor from Oakley. Using the dark visor at night, you can see that it makes it very difficult to see in low light conditions. This is not a visor I would recommend to wear during the night. I would use the grid iron or tinted prism visor during the day. Obviously at night, when people are looking at the visor, you can see just how dark this is going to appear to your opposition or your teammates. One of the things that makes me so excited for the prism visors is I've always loved Oakley's shape of their visor and their zero distortion. So I talk about that in my unboxing. They have a proprietary design. You can see that it bubbles out different than any other visor you're gonna find on the market. Most of those are usually gonna be straight, which are going to give you some distortion. With the new prism technology, it's going to be a little bit more clear, seem a little bit more clear because it's gonna bring out some of that color. This is going to be the same exact shape as the older Oakley visor. I believe they are working on some new visors to fit different helmets like the Speedflex. You may have seen in the NFL, there are some custom visors where they're really trying to fit it to the helmet to minimize the gap and really improve the aesthetics of wearing the visor in the helmet. These do retail for $45 on the Green Gridiron website. I'm gonna include that link in the description below of where you can get it. Definitely check it out. They have some awesome deals running right now, just in time for the holidays, and this could make an excellent stocking stuffer. You guys know I love to give stuff away, so if you're still watching the video up until this point, I am going to be giving away one of these visors. I'm gonna put how to enter the giveaway in the description of this video, and you will get your choice of either the clear visor or the gridiron visor with the little bit of tint. Now, if you like my video, remember to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <music>